Antonio Permui, I'm a senior uh, political science major with a minor in art history and entrepreneurship. I'm president of the collection, which is our art club on campus. I'm also president of Big Talk, which was formerly Big Sisters of Psychology. They're a um, positive psychology group that looks to bring people together. Uh, and also the Anthropology Club, we're teaming up with them because their president, Taryn Barnett, is a good friend of mine. So the three of us um, decided, the three groups all decided that this would be a good event to do to bring people together, connect them to their creative potential, and showcase what our student body is capable of because we don't have a lot of opportunities to showcase anyone's art. Usually if, it's, if some of it's being displayed, it's usually not, not only is it only graphic design, but it's graphic design seniors. <laughs> so we wanted to give everybody else, including those who are learning in graphic design uh, and everyone who's not a graphic design major, anyone who feels even a little bit creatively inspired to have a space to showcase their art. So this was a very ambitious event that's with several groups that was meant to be the peak of um, the semester and year in terms of like culminating into this. Another uh, important aspect of uh, what went into the thinking of this was that uh, throughout the semester and throughout the year, our um, club, the, the collection, the art club, we like to do a series of workshop events to help students kind of do creative activities even if they don't see themselves as creative. Um, so we do vision boards, we do, um, so we have a surrealist workshop where we share our dreams and sketch them. That's that piece over there. Um, and so we spent a lot of time throughout the year creating art and we wanted to um, kind of culminate into this opportunity to show art. So, um, but if you notice behind us, there's also opportunity to create art here. So we wanted it to be interactive as well. So no matter where you are uh, in the process or how creative you see yourself as an artist, new, old, you know, somewhere in between, this is for you. Uh, and anything can be art. Uh, art is anything. So this is, it's meant to be all of that. Um, if you meet someone new, you take a random card and you each read one. And then if you, even if you just interact for a minute, with just one or two of these, you feel already that you have the different fun exercise that, um, My name is Brandon Santiago, and uh, I'm a second year student, and I'm planning on transferring to USF Tampa for studio art. Um, I brought uh, several of my uh, big pieces. Uh, I do expressionist art, and um, I focus on what I'm feeling at that moment. So um, with my art, I never really like to plan out. I just start painting. My name is Hannah Nong. I am a senior here at USFCP. Um, I brought one thing for this exhibit today. Um, okay, well, artists that I'm really interested in obviously are Picasso, Matisse, Magritte, Dolly. Um, Van Gogh is a huge inspiration. This painting I like to call my mental breakdown painting because I've only worked on it when I was in a really weird place. It's blue, and I did the blue with like sponges, and I just did that randomly. And then whenever I was having a bad time, I would paint my actual like arms and body parts and like stamp them onto the canvas. So the body part, or the body of the painting is actually like made with real body parts. And I named it um, Mind Over Body because it was a mental health painting. <laughs> I've been writing poetry since I was like an adolescent. I would say like 13 years old, I started really writing in my diary. And slowly over time, after many English professors and teachers pushing me, I started working on spoken words. So now I consider myself a spoken word artist. I'm inspired by the things I can experience in my life. So I can't write about anything that I don't know about. Um, most of the things are love, heartbreak, uh, morale. And I tap into my religion a lot too because I feel the most emotional about it. So I write when I'm emotional. My name is Grace Starksdale. I'm in my third year of college. I'm a graphic design student who just got in the program. And I'm here today to talk to you about art. Um, I brought like four prints of mine. Um, and they range in sizes. Um, some of them being like this big. And then some of them are like poster size. So. I really like line work and I like to express um, faces and emotions with the faces through the lines. Um, so that's kind of where my inspiration comes from. Um, printmaking, I've only been doing for a year, um, but I've been doing art since I was a kid, honestly. Um, I had
had a time where I didn't do it, but like I took a period off. But um, other than that, like a long time. My favorite medium is definitely printmaking. Um, I really enjoy like carving and um, seeing like, what the outcomes can be and mixing the colors. It's a lot of fun. So, um, I just want people to so see something like pleasing to their eye um, through line work and color. Anything they can get out of it, honestly.